Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's just another shorty video. So I figured we would talk about the score editor a little bit and then how to open up the score editor. So what I have here is just a free to use classical MIDI file that I downloaded from online somewhere. And I just wanted to use this as an example for you guys. So you guys might already know that like with MIDI files, you can open up a note view and you can drag notes around, you can edit them, stuff like that. So that's one way to work with MIDI with MIDI notes. But another thing that you can do is you can actually work with it in the score editor. And the score editor is great for if, for example, you're going to hand this off to a musician, like if you're composing a piece in Pro Tools and you want to then hand it off to some kind of musician, for example, for like a film score recording or something like that. So the score editor is really great for that because it takes your notes that you put in using your MIDI system, however you did it, you know, whether you're using a MIDI keyboard or you're drawing the notes in or whatever your workflow looks like, you can take this and just open it up in the score editor and it'll translate it into an actual musical score that a musician can then read. And you can also then just print out that score and hand it off to the musicians and have them do their thing. So it's pretty handy, it's pretty useful, depending on the type of work you're doing. You might use this a lot, you might hardly ever use it, but I just wanted to show you that this is another tool that you have at your disposal within Pro Tools and just show you how to open it up today. So there are a bunch of musical notation softwares, like score editors that are in and of themselves their own entities. So they're you know made by companies that are not Avid, they're not Pro Tools based. And so you might've used these. So like two of the biggest ones are Finale and Sibelius. If you did a program that focused on music composition like mine, then you might've used these before, right? And I do believe, I'm not remembering off the top of my head here, but I know a while back Pro Tools teamed up with, I think it was Sibelius was the company. And so their score editor is actually powered by this company's software. Software. So it's really good. It's it's quality. You know, it was it was developed as its own entity in a sense originally because of this this teamwork that they've done. So it's a pretty good score editor, you know. So that's enough chat about the score editor. So let's go into how to actually open it. So there's a few ways you can do it. So one way is you can go to window and then score editor, which is right here, and that will open it up. And the score editor is its own window. So you can see here, I can move this window around and work with it. So another way to get the score editor open is if you're in, I'm gonna move into clips here to show you this here in a second. But basically you can go to setup and then go to preferences. And if you go to the MIDI tab up top here, you can then go down to double clicking a MIDI clip opens and that you can switch over to whatever you want. So you can have it be score editor if you like. So once I hit okay on that, and since I'm in the clips view here, I can just double click on this clip and it'll open up the score editor. Cool. And so then another way we can do it is if we just right click on this clip, you can just scroll to the bottom here and go to open in score editor. And of course, just like anything in Pro Tools, there's gonna be a shortcut to open this as well. So you can do option control and then equals, the equal sign, uh, plus equals button, right? And that'll open it up for you. So option control equals will open and close it for you. And if you're on a Windows machine, I believe the way that it translates would be all and then the start button and then equals. So option control and equals. And that's it. Again, this is just a shorty video, so I know it's really quick, really basic, but I just wanted to show you a little bit about the score editor, how to open it up, option control equals, don't forget. And we're gonna go into more detail with the score editor here because as I mentioned, you know, we can drag notes around, we can work within the actual score editor on our music. So it's kind of, it's kind of a fun thing to know how to use if you feel so inclined. So that's it. We're going to go more in depth with the score editor in a future video, but I hope you guys found this useful as a primer or start to the score editor topic. So if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content on there. So please feel free to check that out. I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thanks for watching. Okay.